What is the best part about living in Switzerland? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. New content is finally here. Yes, we have 9.2 Eternity's End. We've been spending a lot of time in Xerath Mortis this week. But let's get into your new gold challenge for this week. Your step-by-step -step guide to making gold on a new server. Before we get into that though, I just want to do a couple quick plugs. Number one, all my social media is always in the description of every video. Uh, fair warning, the only ones I'm really active on are uh, TikTok and Instagram. And those are usually just uh, shortened versions of the content you're getting on here. But I also do an occasional update on Twitter if I'm running late for something, etc. So if you're interested, check those out. Also, I have created a Instagram for Joey that is in the description as well. So if you want to follow Joey on Instagram, get all his pictures. Uh, I thought that was a fun idea. My sister made an Instagram for her dog, so they kind of interact with each other. And uh, we have fun doing it. So if you're interested in more pictures of Joey, check that out. Additionally, I want to do a plug to, for my streaming. I'm streaming on Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch and on YouTube on Wednesdays at uh, 8 p.m. Central Time U.S. Uh, all three nights. And I want to give a big shout out to everyone who has joined me. I had my uh, biggest crowd ever this week. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much, especially the people that participated and made it fun. So thank you so much and uh, we'll see you next week. Our starting gold on hand value for this week is 4.881 million gold. And we have 512 posted auctions worth, if they sell, 46 million gold total, with one sold auction coming in for just under 300 gold. This week we have less sales than normal because I've been saving up a lot of things for uh, sale in 9.2 but we still have quite a bit of gold on hand this week. I'm pretty sure we are going to break 5 million gold this week, so that is super exciting. So let's get into it. So starting off right away, we have some glyphs and some sharpening stones, our usual sales, as well as some jewel crafting crafts. And then right away, we've got a bunch of gold off of the new 9.2 materials that we farmed up in the video up on my channel. Unfortunately, the undercutters have already struck and the price has plummeted, uh, but we're still making quite a bit of gold off them. And I anticipate the price will rise once again once people start crafting. Uh, it's still a little bit early. People are still unlocking things, so I think the price will go back up a little bit. But uh, I am very unhappy with the, the undercutters. They really, uh, they really crank that price down really quickly. But anyways, we've also got some Veiled Augment Runes. I was saving those up for uh, the... the the uh, raid release coming up in a couple days, but I decided to go ahead and sell some of them because I wanted to have a good week of content for you guys. That's the same with this Desolate Leather and Lay Straight Ore. And then there is some more of the new ore in there. And then uh, we've got another Swift Lovebird. So that I think that makes four Swift Lovebirds sold. I've got like three more left in the bank. Uh, we're good. Oh, here's a second one for this week. Uh, I think this is three and four that I've sold. I think I sold two last week as well. Uh, so that is four. I have like three more in the bank to sell. And then here's some more first flower, which is the 9.2 material. And um, let's see, some other 9.2 materials in here. Uh, a design, a couple of very low sale battle pets, um, some more 9.2 materials, Corthite crystals. The price on these has not gone up like I thought it would. But uh, they are still selling for a decent amount. Uh, another, a couple of very nice glyph sales in here from Inscription. And a huge Eternium Prison Key sale. This is from Manitoums. From uh, my 100 Manitoums farm up on the channel. Uh, the price on those got undercut like crazy too. But we still made 14,000 gold. So can't complain too much. Nice chunk of Voltile Fire. This is from my quote unquote double any farm method. And then we've got a Barbarian, barbarian Greatsword Transmog Sale for 1,800 gold. Very nice. Um, some more uh, jewel crafting crafts and glyphs and some enchants. A nice Sorrow Moss Sale here from my Sorrow Moss Farm up on the channel. More Volatile Fire. Uh, minor Transmog Sale here, the Ancestral Branch. Uh, glyph of Spectral Raptor. I've sold a ton of these. Very nice. Excellent. 20, uh, 2700 gold. Mark of the Sentinel is another glyph. 
and so is the Orca here. A couple more enchants, and then a very nice, tremendous tankard of tail terror sale. This is from Brewfest. Believe it or not, we are still getting sales from Brewfest. And to wrap up this hundred, we have a crafted dreadful gladiator's war boots for thirteen thousand gold. Very nice. So let's open this up and see what we have left. Ding, 5 million gold. And that leaves us with two more sales. Uh, a little enchant for 37 gold. And then another crafted dreadful gladiators piece. This time is the scaled leg guards for 9,500. Just as a reminder, these are Pandaria crafts. Uh, they are, uh, you can sell them as transmog as is, or you can increase the item level to item level 54. And then people buy them for much more gold for the mage tower, which should be coming up in a couple of months. So let's open this up and get our grand total. And our grand total for the week is... 186,000 gold. Which brings our total gold on hand to 5,067,500 gold. We are halfway to gold cap, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to wrap up this video here, and we'll see you next time.